Go. You recording now? Yeah. All right. Hi, this is Esme Baca. You want the whole? Esme Baca's fine. Any, any. Es okay, great. Hi, Esme. How Hello. are you? Hello. Hello, Calero, and future people of this video viewing. Um, my name is Bishop Tekelis. This is Esme Baca. We're going to talk about Calero Student Spotlight, which you're in. Thank you for doing this with me. Um, our first question How has Calero helped you succeed? And what are your keys to success? Mm. <laughs> uh, Calero has helped me in, I guess, in making up credits. I realized that compared to when I was at Andrewville, uh, I'm able to get more help from teachers. You talk to them because they're listening to you. I don't like listening to everyone. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. I, I realized that uh, teachers are more available here at Calero due to its small size. So they're actually able to put their time into taking, um, into making staff. Okay. They actually are able to take their time into making sure that students time. know what they're doing and help out in what they can. Okay. Uh, also, teachers are really lively here, so it's more easier to reach out to them and actually like. Um, That's pretty good. My key points? Yes, your key to success. My key to you, success. You're talking to the future Calero kids, like the sophomores yes. coming in. Give them some um, advice. I have no keys to success other than do your work on time. If you don't, you're going to regret it because your grade goes down and then you have to do more cyber high courses. I learned that the hard way. I'm finally done Say with it. Say that again though. because I want to really make sure they get that in their brain. <laughs> Say it one more time. Do your cyber high, pass your classes, because if you don't, you're going to have to do more and more and more, and you're not going to graduate. Uh oh. Thank okay. God I'm done with mine. Um, Bolt, I lost, another uh, one would be. Uh, I lost my list. Keep recording, it's fine. That list you had for me, just open it up for me. Uh, just the don't procrastinate as much as I did. Thank you. I would say. And if you actually need help, just go to a teacher and get help and don't wait. Okay. What are your plans for the future? For the future? Um, I plan to go to community college and get a uh, biology transfer to then eventually probably get into the medical laboratory technician field cool. and help out with like the, the discovery and inventions of medicine that could eventually help exciting. out in the future. Very exciting. And what would you give, what former, well, what advice would you give your former self? Um, you personally. You personally. Yeah. Uh, I would say, uh, I don't know, I would really, uh, thinking back on myself back in like freshman year and like before coming here to Claro, I would say to myself, just give it your best actually because you never know what you're able to accomplish unless you give it your best effort. And I was able to learn that later on in my later years here in high school that I am more than what I thought I was before. What we thought you were. Let me ask you first one, you don't have to answer. Mm -hmm. Why weren't you doing your best before? Why do you think? I really didn't see um I didn't really know what I was gonna do after high school. So I didn't see a point in trying to like really put my effort into it until like later on where I was able to get all these like fields of like so you opportunity. Made a, you made a plan mm -hmm. and that plan inspired you to try hard. Try hard. So making a plan for your future is a good idea to inspire you. Okay. Well thank you. You took it pulls a lot. That was great. It's very helpful for the students. I really appreciate you. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.